and welcome back to The Sims 4 Dine Out Rags to Riches Challenge. Ladies and gentlemen, today, well, today, there have been a couple of small changes to the restaurant that I would quite like to show you. So the first of them is uh, vitally important to quite a few things. I have enclosed the bin. There is a gate and there is a door. And those things will stop people from kicking it over because those doors and the gate, the, do the door and the gate, I swear I can speak. I could just restart the recording, but I'm going to keep it because no one's perfect and that's okay. So, so the door and the gate are only accessible to employees and to household members. So that's what we've got there. I also increased the amount of garden space we have back here. So we are going to be loaded when all of this grows. We also have a broken toilet and a broken sink in the house. So we're going to get Peyton to go and repair that and to repair that. Ellie has actually maxed out her gardening skills. She did this when we were sorting the garden expansion, so that's amazing news. And we have a giant rose. Because we had that in the household inventory, I didn't really know what to do with it, so I thought, eh, let's put a giant rose back there. There's nothing else there anyway, so a giant rose will do the job. So, in terms of the restaurant, things could be going a little bit better, but I do have a bit of a goal. I would like... I, I was originally planning on having Ali go ahead and start opening a whole bunch of her own restaurants everywhere in every other town and all that stuff. And that is something I, th I still think I'd like to do, but I'd also really like to go ahead and buy that chief beef restaurant that I showed you in the previous episode, the one that I built on a live stream that I'm really happy with. Uh, I would like to buy that. It is about 80,000 simoleons, and I want it. It's kind of that simple. I just want that chief beef restaurant. I think it's pretty cool. I'm really happy with it. And I'd also like to get rid of this house at some point and sort of turn this into a much bigger restaurant. There are also some issues. I don't know if these tables are all perfectly usable. Some people have been using them, but I'm noticing that there's just... There seems to be a preference for the tables upstairs, which is kind of annoying me. So I'd like to expand the restaurant and get more of this style of table in and do some benches and all that stuff and just make it a bit more of a high-end restaurant and make it look a little bit more modern. It's kind of getting there. I think it looks a little bit, you know, a, a little bit modern, but I, I can go a little bit further with it. I also changed the menu. The restaurant menu now has a lot more stuff on it that is higher difficulty because our chefs are just ballers. So that's what's happened there. And with all of that said, Ali is currently fast asleep. Peyton is currently enjoying some food and isn't a fan of the trash. So let's have you clean that up. Let's have you throw that away. Then have you clean that up. Now you're going to go mop up the bathroom as well, which is fine by me. So get that done. And hopefully we'll see the place just get cleaned up a little bit. Now that's going to go into the trash. That's going to be washed up. I assume you're going to grab some of the other plates as well. Uh, you're trying to. That's for sure. You are definitely trying to. Now clean that up. You can clean up the rest of them as well. You're going upstairs to get more. Fair enough. I would like to change this upstairs space a little bit. I definitely have the money to do it. I just, I feel like I maybe want a little bit more money before we do it. Uh, can you just clean up the rest of the place, please? You're so close to being done. You really are. Come on. Get now, for God's sake. Peyton, please. Just, just clean it up. There you go. Right. So that all goes to the waiter station and we are good. You can go to sleep. That wasn't that hard, was it, Peyton? There you go. All right, Ali, how are you doing? Your energy is actually okay, so let's have you go and... Uh, I would like you to hire a professional gardener. And then maybe go to the bathroom. Then... I guess you could... Have some of this. So grab a serving. And that'll sort your food. You do need to get your fun up a little bit, so you can probably watch some TV whilst you're eating. That'll probably be a pretty good idea. So we'll get Ali into a good mood, then we'll go ahead and open the restaurant, and everything should be absolutely amazing. So there we go. She is going to watch TV, get her fun up a little bit, and uh, it is only 5, it's only 6 a.m. basically. That's maybe a little bit early to open the restaurant. We should have the gardener arriving, I think it's at about 9.05 a.m., which is fine by me. I think we'll open the restaurant at about 8. That seems like a good time. Peyton is going to need some good sleep. Which is fine. That's fine. We can deal with that. Uh, maybe we will look into changing this space up here. I kind of want to do it. I'm not a big fan of this space up here. I think it looks really weird. I think it's mostly because 
if the building was the other way around and that was sort of at the back, it would look fine, but I can't really do that because that's sort of where the, uh, the kitchen happens to be. And I don't really want to shift this whole place about and have the kitchen sort of over here and the stairs over here. I think that would look a bit weird. So it kind of has to stay like this, doesn't it? Unless we did another floor just completely and enclosed it. But then that could look a bit strange as well. I kind of like this upstairs space the way it is, you know, all open and stuff. I don't know. I'm not sure what way to do this, ideally. I think it might be good to get rid of this bit. So take that there and make it a wall. Uh, then do the same over here like this. Grab that and bring it back a little bit. Just like that. Uh, you know what? Let me just... <laughs> Not really working, is it? There we go. So that absolutely works. Uh, I would like to grab this texture like so. I would like to grab the beautiful, beautiful wood texture like so. And just put it around there. Uh, then this bit right here needs to become that. Then we just move these pillars. And I mean, that, I guess, works a little bit better than what it did previously. It's not on an awkward angle anymore, which is fine. Uh, that one is actually okay where it is. And I think immediately that looks a little bit better, not having the dumb angle there at the front. So that's possibly a good move. Uh, I think I'd also like to maybe move these a little bit. I'm going to delete you. Then I can't actually... Oh, wait a minute. Uh, I want to move these all a little bit closer together. Just like this. Uh, even that. No, let's just go properly close together. They're not going to be huge fans of it, but they're going to have to deal with it. Because I think I'd like to extend this building a little bit. Now, for one, I would like to uh, remove that wall. And that's apparently not one room. Oh, for God's sake. I would really appreciate it if it was one room, but apparently... Apparently, it doesn't want to be one room, so that's nice. Um, all right. So, extend that to there. Extend that to there. Then extend that to there. I just want to make a bit of a bigger space there. I think it looks... I mean, I think immediately that looks a little bit better, just giving a bit more heft to the upstairs part. Uh, then we can move the roof, like so, which actually makes it even. Not sure I'm a fan of that. Um, yeah, that's a weird looking roof. It's a really weird looking roof. Maybe bring that one up, then we lower this, this, this one. I can't speak. It's annoying me. I've got a couple of days with just a bit of a sore throat, and it's making commentary really difficult. Uh, but there we go. I think that looks a bit better. It's uh, it's something, you know? It kind of does the job. Uh, we do have these big red windows up here still, which uh, I do like. I do still like the big red windows. So I could, if I really wanted to, add a couple of them in. Um, technically can't add them there, which is strange, because I kind of like to. Shift, control, C, BB, dot, uh, move, objects. There we go. So one there and one there. I think it looks cool. I get that I haven't really been, you know, I haven't used the red windows at the front of the building, but I think the side of them looks, the side looks okay with them. I think I will uh, go ahead and grab myself one of these windows and throw it up here. Just because I think that looks uh, kind of interesting. Let's get rid of that wall, which, I mean, this still isn't technically a, uh, oh, for God's sake. Can I just get rid of... That bit of floor, please. That looks ridiculous. Remove the floor. There we go. So that... Oh, for... Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. Build a ceiling. So that's all one room. Right. We're getting there. We are... We are... <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, remove the floor, please. Is that all... That's all one room. Beautiful. All right. So, now that that's done, let me go ahead. Let me, uh... Let me paint all of this. Get a look at... Is that... <laughs> it's floating there. Of course it is. All right, do that. So now it's an actual room with an actual window, which eh, it looks uh, it's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> it looks a bit silly. We'll find another one to put there in a second. We are going to want a railing. So give me you. And let me do just a railing around the stairs like that. Which looks a bit better. And then just lights. We have lights already, so these can just be moved into the middle. Beautiful. That looks pretty good. Let's look for a window, and then we are golden. So what kind of window are we going to go with? Uh, that one kind of matches. Definitely kind of matches. Uh, this one also kind of matches, but I kind of just want a single tile window. 
So I guess this one is what we're gonna have to go for. If I can get it in the same color, which I can. So that can go there. I know, again, it's not the red windows, but I think that looks kind of... Okay, or, or, hold on. We could go to here. Hold on, what have we got in here? A sofa. Why have I got a sofa? Where did that come from? There. Why did that... Why isn't that placed? Get, get in there. There you go. All right. So what I'm thinking is we grab you. And we put a sign up there, obviously making it a bit bigger. Because, you know, we're fancy here. We have a nice fancy restaurant. So we do something like that. And uh, then we have a sign, which I kind of enjoy. I'm not sure on this pillar anymore, but it's going to have to stay unless I do something else with it. Can I recolor the sign? What about a... I mean, none of these really look all that good, do they? I think the orange one's kind of cool, but I think we'll just leave it as is. That seems fine for the time being. That'll do. All right, let's actually play the game and not just do some building. Uh, it is almost 7 a.m. We'll open at 7. It's fine. We're dedicated. We're opening at 7. It is 7. Let's open. All right. So let's get everybody into work. Let's make sure everyone's having a good time. I mean, you know, Raphael here, he is... He's not doing great. He's not the best. We have trained him up. He has some pretty good skills. There's good old Bjorn Bjergsen. The man himself. The man, the myth, the Bjorn. That's, uh, that's him right there. Who's this? That's, uh, someone else. <laughs> Not Bjorn Bjergsen. There's, uh, oh, aren't you a land grab? Yeah, Jeffrey Landgrab. Jeffrey Landgrab, of course, basically wants to be Bjorn Bjergsen, as you can see. Similar haircuts, but unfortunately, all Jeffrey can do is grow that mustache. He can't get a beard, so. He's kind of the opposite of me. I can get a beard, I can't get a mustache. Just takes a really long time to grow. And it's a shame. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's a shame. I would, <laughs> I would love a, a great big bushy beard is, uh, is the goal. But unfortunately, these things don't always happen. Uh, let's go ahead and put some flooring in here. Um, so we'll do that. Because I think it looks kind of fancy. Then up here, I'm actually going to steal this flooring. Which I think we already have, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right. So that's in there already. I'd like to rotate it, though. So, uh, do that. And we're good. As for lights in there, I think we're fine. We could maybe do with a window at the back, possibly. Maybe not. I think it is just a bit... It's a bit bare in there. I think what we need... I think what we need is to turn this into a little bit of a lounge. I think that could be kind of cool. So let's transfer some funds. You know when I said we were going to play the game and not just build things? I may have lied. But uh, that's fine. Little white lies from time to time are okay. I kind of I like these chairs. But I'm fully aware that we could get better ones. I mean, these are good. They're cheap. But I mean, this is probably better. And if I could get it in the right color, that'd be even better. I mean, the purple's daring, but not quite what I want. Um, so I can't get this in the color I would want. I can get it in blue. But that kind of blue doesn't really exist in here. This one I can get. It's kind of a wicker looking thing I don't really want. Uh, what else do we have? We have obviously got some actual booths, but I don't really want those either. Um, I guess our options are kind of limited, huh? I mean, obviously I could get one of these chairs, but it's a maybe a little bit too fancy. This one, I mean, that actually kind of works. It's very, very fancy. It's a little bit old looking though. It's also, I think literally twice the price of uh, this one, isn't it? Yeah, so we're gonna stick with these. We, we can stick with these for the time being. Let's go upstairs and get ourselves a kind of little lounge thing on the go. So grab me one of those, grab me another one, and I'll sort of put it there. Although that's kind of a weird spot for a lounge, isn't it? So do that and do that. And that should be fine. We can put a little coffee table there. We could, uh, we could put a TV on that wall, but that seems like a waste of a, a good old TV. So we'll put a little coffee table in there. We can do, I guess, another seating area over here. Can I get a big version of the chair I've been lo uh, losing? Using. I don't think that's it. Doesn't really look... Oh, mega sofa. I think that's it, isn't it? If I go for that one. Yeah, I think that is just a version of that chair without the sheet over it, so... We'll put that there. Again, sort of little kind of lounge space. 
then just decorations. So if we go to decorations and go to wall, what have we got in here that would look pretty on the wall? That's just a bunch of posters that I don't really want. That's really nice. If it was a tiny bit smaller, I think it would be better. But that, I mean, that could have went above the stairs. It is beautiful, though. Is there anywhere I can put this? Not really. That's unfortunate. That is definitely unfortunate. Okay. Well, in that case, I mean, how expensive is it? That's another question. Quite. Quite expensive. I mean, this is more expensive, but, I mean, is there anything I can throw in here that's going to look pretty? I guess that kind of does. It's a bit basic, though. I kind of just wanted to add some color, you know? I mean, those are interesting, but very modern. And I'm not wanting to go for the modern look just yet. Um, so maybe not those. Let's have a look. Let's see. I mean, that's... That's nice. We'll throw that in there. And over here, I mean, we could throw some other art in there. That, for example. <laughs> well, the room's done. It took a little while, but uh, I decided to go with this red and blue theme, which I think looks a little interesting. I know that they don't necessarily work together as colors, but I kind of like that weird contrast. I'm also not convinced that these two chairs are actually going to work, so I'm going to have to go and test those. So, Ali, if you could go and uh, sit on that sofa, that would be just amazing. So, uh, there you go. She's coming in. She's going to come upstairs. She can sit there. She does sort of clip through the sofa. Can I get you to sit there is the question. You can, but can you get up and leave is the next question. Uh, no. No, you can't. So, you can get stuck in there. Uh, that's not good. So get rid of that. Is there, by any chance, a little round table I could use? I know there are in dining tables, but I kind of want a little round coffee table, which unfortunately the game doesn't seem to have, so I might just have to use... I mean, there is this, but that's a miserable looking little coffee table. Are there any round end tables? Uh, no. So it is going to have to be a dining table, which is bloody huge. But I'm going to have to use it, because that's kind of my only option. So this, I'm tempted to use that one, I think. I think that could look interesting, because then we can have a little bit of blue underneath it, or a little bit of red. I actually kind of like the red. So I think we'll go with the uh, go with the red on this, and sort of just chuck that there. I guess. It looks weird. It does, but it's kind of all I can do. Uh, so here's the real question, Ali. Can you sit in there? Uh, you can. Can you get up and leave? Uh, yes, you can. So you can get there. Which is good. So that is now functional, which is beautiful. That's exactly what we wanted. That means we have this beautiful little lounge here, which... It's a weird room, definitely, but I like it. I'm also tempted to move the feature wall from there to there. So that just becomes a really... Well, no, that would be a way too much red, wouldn't it? Let's maybe not do that. That's, uh, that's maybe not the best idea. I also think I'm going to grab... I'm going to, as my last little bit of construction, grab that pillar and put it there. So, there isn't a pillar there because it doesn't really belong, I suppose. Uh, I also need to do this. Yeah, it may look like a sudden change, but having a pillar there means the pillar goes through the wall and I don't like it, so I'm going to have to just deal with that. Uh, but I like this. I like the little lounge we have. We are apparently making a little bit of money. Not very much currently, but uh, who are you? I have completely forgotten their names. You are Norma, and you're delivering food to that table, which got me a bit of money. All right. We might want to up the advertising budget. I feel like upping the advertising budget to uh, platinum might be an idea. To see if we can get more people in here. I also haven't seen a food critic in a while, which is annoying. But uh, that's okay. How goes the stuff out here? Interestingly. Uh, hire a professional gardener. It's already scheduled, apparently. All right. I mean, that seems unlikely, but I'll take your word for it. As for... Oh, that table is actually being used. Amazing. That's beautiful. Ali, what's up with you? Where are you? You're sort of just standing there. I'd like you to um, welcome people to the restaurant and make sure they're having a good time, please. Let's uh, check on the table. Let's uh, welcome. Do all that stuff. Make sure everyone's having a great time. As for you, Ali, you just need to be social. So can you maybe just talk to people? Seriously, just just cheerful introduction. So yeah, just, just be a bit social and you'll be fine, Ali. Everything's okay. As for Peyton, Peyton is uh, not doing anything either, just sitting there. Have I got free will turned off by any chance? Because they're not really doing much. Uh, gameplay... 
Yeah. So no, it's it's not off. They they can do whatever the hell they want. So that's yeah. So they apparently just want to sit there, which is interesting. So that's that's a thing. As for you guys, I mean, money's okay. We really do need to make a bit more. Can I? I'm putting the mark up to 300%. We're in 300% price markup. I don't care if people don't like it. They're gonna have to deal with it. You've just gone down to four. Can I? Can I get you back up to five stars, please? Seriously, sir, I, uh, I couldn't help but notice that the floating star above your head went down to four. Is everything okay? Now, as for Ali, Ali's up here chatting to this lot. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get some people up to four stars. So, check on your table. And you have already been welcomed, so that's fine. As for you, check on table. Just make sure everyone's having a good time. Let's stick in a four-star restaurant. And we're good. Thus far, everything seems fine. Okay, okay. Money could be better, but... I mean, did I just see a plate get delivered? Yes, I did. 421. All right. Not bad. I could do with making a bit more money, though. I really, really could. As for you guys, I would like to pay for training. You have maxed your skills. So that's fine. In terms of cooking speed, I feel like... I'm going to say quickly. I'm going to try and get them to cook quickly. Because they're both really skilled at what they do, so in theory, we can get them to cook quickly, meaning we can sell more. That's the plan, anyway. I don't know if it'll work, but hopefully it will. Uh, what are you doing? Seriously, you just you just left those dishes. Okay. No, we have a lot of customers. We probably want to stop accepting new customers at this point. There's also no one downstairs. So, yes, yeah, so let's go and... Check on the table. Let's check on the table. Let's, uh, welcome them. And you're fine. Okay. So just checking all the tables, make sure everyone's having a great time. Money could be better. We aren't accepting any customers, though, so we shouldn't have to worry about... We shouldn't have too much to worry about. That looks like a new customer to me. I'm gonna be honest. That definitely looked like a new customer. Can't say I'm a big fan of that. But what I am a big fan of is perk points. So I'd like to go to perk points and I'd like to see what I can do. So they will tip a bit extra. We've got that a couple of times already. We could lower the cost of ingredients permanently. We did already knock the cost of this down, didn't we? So that's probably for the best. I think I'm going to do the ingredient discount. Or do I want more money from tips? I think a small ingredient discount is probably for the best. So that way we are spending a bit less every day on, well, the food. So that's probably good. That's that's going to get us a little bit more money. We can get the big discount at some point as well. As for you, sir. Oh, he's getting tired. Okay. I mean, if we could get the meals out quicker, we'd be all right. Oh, there's another one going. All right. So that's going to those lot. They plus 90. Really? That's it? Oh, dear. Did he just... I think we just had an employee piss himself. Let's close the restaurant. We lost 80 simoleons. Good. Strong. Strong day. Strong day at the restaurant. Strong day at Pebbleboro. Everybody out. You? Honestly, I'm surprised. I, I, I probably should fire him for that. That is, uh, that is embarrassing. Definitely, but to be fair, Ali sort of stinks as well, so I can't really fire him for that. Uh, what are you doing? Oh, you're grabbing that as well? Okay, well, fair enough. Ali's doing a whole bunch of cleaning. Uh, gardening, I feel like, really needs done. We apparently have one, you know, already on the way. I'm not going- uh, you know what? We'll go to the ruins, whatever. Let's, uh, let's go to the ruins with Bjorn. We'll have a night away from the restaurant. We'll see what's up. Some crazy party. That's fine. We'll go to the crazy party. We'll see what Bjorn wants. I mean, Bjorn... To be fair to Bjorn, he is one of our better customers. So, I can't just keep saying no to him. Oh, hello. Oh, look at this. Look at you. Can I have that helmet? How are you hearing that? How are you hearing anything? Seriously. 
It doesn't make any sense that you're hearing anything. As for Ali, I'm pretty sure Ali stinks, right? What are you going to do? You are going to fertilize the bushes. Okay. Can I get you to... Is there any way I can get you to clean yourself around here? Doesn't really seem like it, does it? Fair enough. Well, let's have a dance battle with... I assume that's the DJ. With Bjorn Bjergsen. That's what we're going to do. We're going to have a dance battle with Bjorn Bjergsen. All right. So, here we go. I, what what skill is this currently using? Is my is my question. Uh, charisma? I don't know. It's not charisma. Oh, good lord. This is uh, oh, it's the dance skill. It's a specific skill. Oh dear. That's rough. What is that t-shirt? And can I have it? That's a pretty cool t-shirt, actually. Who are you, by the way? That is uh, DJ headliner Kirk Holden. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, dear. Allie? Where's Allie? She's asleep on a rock. You know what? I mean, this party's cool and all, but we really need to sleep. We really do. So, um, let's... Can we just... Can we, can we leave? I mean, yeah. End it early. Let's... Let's just go home. That seems like a pretty good idea to me. Let's just leave. Because Allie really needs to sleep and also really needs to pee again. 7.07 a.m. Sounds like a good time to open the restaurant. So let's get that done and get all my stat. What are you doing? What are you... What a... What the... Okay. Apparently one of my waitresses is running around like a mad person. Fair enough. Uh, Peyton seems to be using the... The store bathroom, for some reason. Can we get you to put on some clothes? Maybe... That's that's your formal, so put that on. You are supposed to wear formal wear about the store anyway, so... You know, we'll have you wear that. Uh, Allie is still fast asleep. Although she's had plenty of rest, so we'll get her up and have her go and... Let's see, is that spoiled? That's cereal. Go eat the cereal. Or don't. Okay. Uh, let's clean out spoiled food. And then let's have some breakfast. We can go for eggs and toast. That sounds delicious, actually. I could go for some eggs and toast. Really does sound good. So uh, you can go and have eggs and toast. I think we can also have you change to your formal outfit as well. Which, uh, might I say, I really like Ali's formal outfit. It's adorable. It, it is. I don't care what anyone says. I quite like that outfit. It matches the wall as well. So we've got that going for us. As for the lounge up here, is anyone actually using it? No. Although I realize that's the most decorated room in the entire building. Which is interesting. Definitely, definitely interesting. Oh. Ali, could you, uh, could you maybe eat your meal so then you can go and start dealing with customers? So go and welcome, and welcome, and we've got a whole fat. Oh, it's him. It's good old Eric Lewis. Oh, those are the days. Those, those were the days. Back when, uh, Ali and Eric were... Well, they were never a thing, were they? I sort of wanted them to be a thing, then I was like, you know what? They're, they're not gonna be a thing. Ali and Peyton seem to be, you know, much more adorable, and that's kind of... You know, that was cool. That was good. I'm happy, you know, Ali and Peyton, they're happy together. They love each other. They have a lovely relation. Ooh, that looks fancy. That also made me some good money. No, it didn't. 251 Smolians. That's not... Oh, no, there we go. 699 Smolians. I mean, we could be making more, but we're getting there. Also, the gardener didn't seem to show up. That's uh, that's not good. It looks like Allie's going to have to do all the gardening herself. Which is a shame, because uh, that's a lot of gardening. Peyton, do you want to maybe go and help? Because... Well, no, you can't really, can you? Harvest all, water all. I'd kind of like you to just tend to the garden, but I don't think you can do that at the moment. Oh, well, in that case, Peyton, go and start uh, dealing with customers and making sure they're all okay. Let's welcome them. Let's uh, check on your table and check on your table. And again, just check on the table. Just make sure everyone is having the best possible time. 
Because if they're not, then uh, we're not doing our job, are we? Hold on a minute. That's Bjor Bjorn Bjorgsen's apparently friends with budget Bjorn Bjorgsen. Okay. Didn't know that. Uh, Peyton, where are you? What are you? You were supposed to be welcoming people to the restaurant, Peyton. Seriously. Now, I think he's leaving at this point, so you're a bit late on that one. Let's uh, check on table. Let's, I mean, I think he's gonna be leaving soon. Not even welcome, that's fine. Uh, there we go, you finally made it upstairs. Let's uh, check on your table as well. I also realize money is actually going okay. We, uh, we have made a little bit more. We've been open for eight hours, which is a bit less than we usually are, and we've made what we usually make in about a full day, so things are going well. Also, hiring that professional gardener was apparently a complete waste of bloody time. So that's nice. That's just real good. All right, let's, um, let's disallow new customers so that we can, uh, we can start focusing on getting everybody out of here. And hopefully we're going to have a nice profitable day. That's the dream here. As for Ali, you are still working in that garden. Good Lord. Interesting story. I don't know if I've told this on a video before. I might have. So if you've heard it already, I do apologize. I remember playing The Sims 3. Now, this was probably about, I'll say probably six years ago at this point. I made a family that was, uh, I made me. I made a self-sim. And uh, as time went by, he got close to some other sims. He eventually had a family, etc., etc. And uh, gardening and all that stuff in The Sims 3 was interesting because you could get to a point where you had so many crops. Like, I built a farm. I built a full farm. Uh, you could get to a point where you had so many crops that by the time you were done harvesting your entire field of crops, the first crops that you'd harvested had grown back. So it got to a point where I had sims that were perpetually harvesting things just forever because of how many crops I had. So eventually I, I took the logical step. And I put my children to work on the farm, so myself, Sim, and his wife at the time could uh, go about their business and just live their lives, and the kids were slaves on the farm. Uh, that was... That was an interesting time. That was a very interesting time. Yes. Uh, Peyton, can you go mop that up, please? That'd be just nice. Uh, as for the restaurant, I mean it... Are we... Wait, I could swear we're admitting new customers. It seems like we're admitting new customers, I'm gonna be honest. Definitely seems like it. Let's go and talk to some of them, make sure they're happy, checking the tables, all that stuff. Management, uh, welcome. We can manage and welcome. Yeah, I could swear we are, we are absolutely admitting new customers. That's odd. That's, that's very, very, did you just, oh, oh my god. Bianca, seriously, that's just, wow, that's two days in a row that one of our employees has fecked themselves, basically, is uh, how I'm going to describe that, wow, uh-oh, Norma's very unsatisfied, okay, Norma, 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 let's be honest, you don't have to be unsatisfied, you, Norma, you didn't feck yourself, Oh, let's give Norma a promotion then. She is doing a pretty good job. So uh, if we can get her that promotion, that would be just lovely. I'd also like, uh, we do have some pretty good money. Some really good money, actually. Uh, can we give Norma that promotion, then close the restaurant? Seriously. Uh, Norma, 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 Norma. You are there. I would like to promote Norma. Quite quickly. So let's head upstairs. Come on, go, go talk to her. There we go. So promote her which is going to cheer her up a bit, and uh, then close the restaurant. So we made 902 simoleons. That's not bad. Definitely not bad. I mean, what have we got? We've got the platinum advertising package. So 902 simoleons isn't terrible. It's not a lot, but it's definitely not terrible. Uh, now, what I would like to do is... No, I can't... No, no, no. Get away. Get lost. Uh, so Ali really needs to pee, which is... Uh, I think she should probably go and do- are both toilets broken? No, they're not. This one's broken, but we can fix that. Uh, let's go repair that toilet, then I'd like to mop the floor. 
So if we can get that done, that'd be just lovely. Uh, then go and harvest everything. Which is possibly going to take a while. But is is probably worth it. I mean, she could use a bit of fun. She could use a bit of energy. But if we harvest all of this, we should have so much money. So we haven't even harvested all of it yet. Ali got a bit tired. And we currently have 2,882 simoleons worth. So that's not bad. That's, uh, wait a minute. There we go. That was, uh, took a little while to do that, but that's fine. Uh, now Peyton's waking up, which is good. She is hungry, so I assume, well, she's going to shower first. Uh, we have some bills to pay. We're going to want to do that, so let's go and pay those bills. Get those out of the way nice and quickly. Then go and, let's see, make a special recipe. Let's do some silly gummy bear pancakes. Obviously. I mean, that's a healthy breakfast right there. That is a good healthy breakfast is what that is. So we'll get those. I don't like that the stoves are left on all the time. That doesn't seem very safe. That really doesn't seem safe at all, in fact. But sure. So there's the pancakes. Well, let's grab a serving of those and then go harvest everything else because we have some money to make. So Ali's currently sitting on 90 Snapdragon flowers. If we sell those, we get 900 simoleons, which isn't bad. Peyton, on the other hand, is sitting on quite a few more of them. So if we sell all of those, we're looking at 5,259. So we are now sitting on 12,000 simoleons. Ladies and gentlemen, we've broken the 10,000 mark. And whilst it may not be the business that's making us the money, that is enough money to get us a house. That is enough money to pack this place up, move all of this, and get us a house. In fact, I could probably just sell all of this at this point and uh, start growing it on the home lot. That might be a good idea, because then we can move this restaurant, put it more central, have it look beautiful. Oh yeah, that's something we might have to do. But for today, ladies and gentlemen, I am going to leave it there, so... Thank you kind of for watching. This has been the Sims 4 Dynite Rags to Riches Challenge. I'm not quite sure what part this is. Is it part 10? Is it part 11? I don't know. It's a part, possibly. Anyway, yeah. Thank you kind of for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, bye bye.